Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 22 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Bristol Rovers and we continue on here. It's been rough in the league. We had two losses against Leeds and against Arsenal, but they were both closely fought games. Definitely think that the talent will eventually come through and, and we'll get things turned around, but we did have an impressive showing 9-0 over Benfica in Champions League group action. So now we move on. We have Aston Villa, we have the Carabao Cup against Shrewsbury, and then we have Fulham, who currently sit bottom of the table. So hopefully we can find some results here in the league and get things turned around here early in October. Let's start with our home game here against Aston Villa. And we will get into the game here. We'll have to rotate the midfield. Granero and Aguilar come in for Brown and Gibbs. It's going to hurt our offense a little bit. Gibbs has been a great player, but need to get him rested here as we get into the season. So he'll start on the bench. Let's get into this one here against Aston Villa. And we'll get this one underway. Wood right into the middle. Good start here. Carr gets it to his left foot and he puts it in the net and right off the kickoff. We go down the middle of the field and Reese Carr puts us in. 1-0 here over Aston Villa. And there we go. That's the way we want to start. We're going to get out to a lead. Breakthrough. Get the early goal and control the pace of play. And you see Wood just send it in. Aguilar comes in for a good start here. Gets it to Carr's left foot and he puts it home. They move across top of the box into Suarez. He moves it back in. Oh, and they come back and they have one of their own. And you, you kind of felt it coming a little bit there. And Reina puts it in. And then we're all even at one as Aston Villa strike back. Wood moves it in. Aguilar now kicks it through. Carr has a chance. He puts in another one. In eight minutes into the game, we have three goals. Two by Reese Carr on the brace. In eight minutes, his neither team has looked good defensively and we'll have to hold on now we got to try and control this one get the lead here and control it reese car puts it in though and gets it back 2-1 wood through to angular angular now has reese car and he beats his man angular now to his inside drops it into him angular three it's three here for us and this offense really when it clicks it really clicks we have just gone up and down the field 12 minutes into the game it's three to one well, they get the ball behind they have a chance oh Morris gets a big piece of it sends it over it goes for a corner they get the ball behind us here into the middle right in front oh and the passing through the middle of the box there does us in and they're within one again it's three to two Carr quickly out here has Aguilar. Aguilar back through to Carr. Carr now with Vitaly right in front of the net. Oh, big spill there. Carr couldn't jump on it. And Aston Villa get the ball back. Aguilar has the ball through Carr. Oh, drops it off. Sandvik. Oh, and a big save by the keeper. Thought we had him beat. Sandvik into the box, turned away for a corner. Aguilar now sends a good ball up past Carr. Carr. Tries to cut inside his man, he does. Gets the shot away, turned away. Sandvik tries to flick it in, couldn't do it. And Aston Villa take over the ball again. Aguilar gets a good ball there. Wood now, into Vitaly. Vitaly now gets away from his man, takes the shot and tests the keeper again. Another good chance. Turned away for a corner. Corner here, lined up for Aston Villa. They'll drive it in and it's a heavy chance off the blind there by Nesbitt and Wood. Blast it all the way out to midfield. Oh, they get a ball behind. Suarez puts it in right at the end of the half. Oh, and a frustrating one there. We always seem to let these up right at the end of the half here. Two minutes remaining. And Aston Villa come back, and they tie it up three all. And it's Wood carrying it forward. Tries to drop it in there. Couldn't find Reese Carr, and that will do it here for the half. A frustrating one. We felt like we should have had a much better result, but we go in all even. Good ball there. We'll send it through. Carr has a chance. He has two today. Can he make it three? He beats the keeper, and he has the hat trick here to start the second half. 
and a game worth. I mean, we probably could have had five or six goals already. We have four as we break through here. And now have to lock up defensively here as we try to hold off Aston Villa. Sandvik through the middle of Vitaly. Vitaly now turning back, has it up to Carr, who turns, shoots, oh, and he's off sides. And in the middle here, Suarez again in there. Wraith, oh, my Lord. <laughs> we cannot play any defense today. And it's back and forth it goes for all as Aston Villa find another. Good ball into the middle. Vitaly kicks it back. Granero, he, oh, hits the crossbar. Couldn't get it in. Wood sends it in, and it goes off. It's a corner kick. Corner kick here, Sandvik. High ball in, looking for it, and it's, oh, Catelli who blasted at the keeper, but he makes the save. Carr sends it long over the top, looking for Sandvik to run onto it, has a chance, can he beat the keeper? No, he makes the save, and it goes for another corner. Sandvik races forward, trying to find a winner. Now moves it in, has Gibbs, who moves it to Carr. Carr gets to the outside, takes the shot, and that one was never going through. Sandvik, though, to Gibbs, to Powell, right in front. A second one followed up, flag stays down, and we'll have a chance there. Is it in? It is. Five to four, Powell stays with it, comes off the bench, and stays in a great position, stays with the shot, puts it in, and now we're on top five to four here against Aston Villa. Granero to Sandvik, his time takes down, and it's Gibbs who all oh, turned it over. And they'll have one last chance to attack. Granero coming forward, and they blow the whistle, and we survive. Five to four here over Aston Villa. Reese Carr with the match ball and three goals. And so we will get into our next one. This time in the Carabao Cup, we face Shrewsbury. We'll ruddle out the Cup squad again, see how they do, see if they can get another result. Let's see how we do against Shrewsbury. And we will get this one underway. Aguino gets it up to Aguilar. Granero plays in Axoy. Axoy right into the middle here. Mickelson trying to find some space. Takes it. Oh, hits the crossbar. And it looks like he's off sides anyway. Aguino trying to put pressure on here for Shrewsbury. They play it out wide, and it's a good chance right into the middle. A big stop by the center backs there, and Kymax settles down the ball. To the edge here. Vela takes the shot and sends it over the bar. And it's a corner here for Shrewsbury. Sent high into the box, headed down, and Telega blasted out of there. All oh, right into the middle. They send it wide, and Shrewsbury had another chance that they miss. And luckily, we're still in this game. Out wide here as Aguino pushes forward here. Aguino sends it in, has Lexington. Oh, he almost found it. Pal goes in there, rushing in, trying to get it. He couldn't do it, and we'll play it back to midfield. Aguino plays it in here for Axel with Granero in there. Has Aguilar, sends it over the top, looking for him, couldn't do it. Granero now settles it down, takes the shot from range, and puts it on the keeper. Pal sends it through. He'll find Axor. Axor now racing forward. Gets behind the defense. Takes the shot and it's in the back of the net. And there we go. We break through. And the young team comes up big. They fend off the assault by Shrewsbury. They've had multiple chances and just have not been able to find the finish. And we play one ball through to Axor. We use all that pace up top to get behind. And we make it 1-0. Guino plays it in here for Granero. Now to Lexanen. Lexanen will hold it back. Goes back to Granero. Back in here for Axoy. Axoy trying to make something happen again here towards the end of the half. Final minutes ticking down. Angular turns right to Lexanen. He makes a diving save. Turns it away. 
corner kick here for Bristol Rovers to end the half. We'll have a chance. Axoy drives it in. Has him there. Couldn't do it. Granero can't get there. And that ends the half. 1-0. Bristol Rovers on top. Aguilar kicks it back here. Has Mickelson. Mickelson now tries to find it into the middle. Axoy has a chance right there. Lexington comes flying in. Couldn't find it. And it goes back to Shrewsbury. And it's Cardoza who sends it down. Lexington, they're going to have to outpace his man. Gets to him. Now can he turn back inside? Can he make it happen? He does. And a great play there. Lexington puts it in 2-0 and continues a great run here in the Carabao Cup. And just a great ball. Just sends it long. Let's him get on to it. He gets out past his man. Turns back inside and puts it into the back of the net. And in the middle here, Mazapov tries to get there, and they hit the post and get back within one. A frustrating one there. They've definitely had their chances, and they have not been able to break through. That's a picture-perfect goal. Kaimak can't get there. Right to the post and in the back of that, 2-1. Oh, right over the top here. Kaimak can't come and get it. Offsides, though, is the call. And Shrewsbury just a step too soon. And that will do it. We advance here in the Carabao Cup. It's a 2-1 to one victory for Bristol Rovers. And so Varen has been sold. He will leave for PSV at the beginning of January. $7.1 million. And so we will go on the road. Bocas slots in after having a good performance there in the Carabao Cup against Fulham, who are currently bottom of the table. Need to beat this team. Need to take advantage of these teams right at the bottom. Let's see what we do on the road here against Fulham. And we'll get this one underway. Get in the middle. Oh, and they open us up two minutes in. Fulham just come down, and we never even had a chance or a sniff of the ball. Fulham come out firing two to nil or one to nil two minutes in you get it Zano and in the middle Brown now Gibbs flicks it over almost hand car lays it off for Wood Wood takes a strike and the keeper makes a diving save but gives it right back it's a chance here Gibbs now in the car and he makes another save and the pressure comes on but we're not able to get through Brown gets to Sandvik. Sandvik punches it out here for Vitali, who moves it across. Sandvik right in front, takes a tip, and it goes in. Oh, and finally, a little bit of luck goes our way. We had two chances early, and this one goes in for us. A great ball there, too. Vitali gets it, a little give and go, and Sandvik gets it. Keeper gets a big piece of it. It hits the bar and goes in the back of the net. And it's Vitaly running up the field here. Has Carr with him. Keeps driving Vitaly. Vitaly's still coming. Now has men in the box. Sends in the cross. Looking for Gibbs. And he flicks a good header. Right at the keeper, though. He'll make the save. Oh, and Lozano down with an injury. And we will have to stop play as they take him out in the middle of the field. And Lozano is going to go off. Vitaly right through the middle now. And it's Carr. Carr has a chance. And there we go. And after their injury, we come back. And we're going to win this one. That was a nasty tackle that took Lozano out. And now Bristol Rovers with Reese Carr find it 2-1. to one. Brown breaks it up. Midfield. Carr now. There to Sandvik. Right back to Vitaly. Who finds it for Carr. Car turns, tries to run, gets it to Sandvik. Sandvik, oh, it's a good blast there. Luckily, the defender's in front of him, or that could have been three. Vitaly breaks it up. Sandvik now, Car holds it up, lays it there for Wood. Wood takes a blast, and it's in the back of the net. And there we go. They may have gotten off to a good start in the first two minutes, but this offense is flying right now, and we're on top 3-1. Driving forward, Fulham. 
They go out wide. Bocas, who comes on for Lozano, cuts him off. It's a good ball into the middle. Catelli can't get there, and luckily the ball goes wide. Sandvik threw it here to Gibbs. Gibbs right back to Sandvik. Now goes into Vitali. Vitali chips it in. Has Carf right on there for the header, and the keeper has to come up big again. Keeps us out. Through the middle here. They get the ball behind. Bocas tries to recover. It's right in there, and oh, we're right there to wall it off. Carr sends it through, and Sandvik comes the other way. He's going to have a chance here right at the end of the half. Can he be? Oh, this keeper again keeps us out, and it goes for another corner. Corner here, Sandvik. Loops the ball in there. Hascatelli, who rattles the crossbar, couldn't get it. Wood finds the extra shot, and it's in the back of the net to end the half. And there we go. That's four. And this game is come. We're going to press on here and try and find some more results here. Try to gain the goal differential. Gain the confidence of everyone in the team. And it's 4-1 as we end the half. From the top here, they get behind. Moray's outstretch gets it out, and Bocas punches it up the field. Wood moves it along for Gibbs. Gibbs over the top will find Lexanen, who gets to the edge of the box now. Pulling it back, Gibbs to Wood. Wood takes a strike, couldn't do it, follows it, but couldn't get on the loose ball, and it goes back to Fulham. The tally now sends it through. Axoy has a chance. He puts, oh, there we go, that's five. Is building that goal differential, building that confidence offensively. And now we got to try and hold on defensively. Want to keep the ball out of net as well, but going forward, we are clicking. It's 5-1. to one. In the box here. We'll try to break it up. They get a oh, good chance, and Moray is another big save, having himself a very good day. Keeping the ball out. Goes for another corner. Long ball over the top again, looking for Gibbs. Gibbs gets around his man. Can he drive in here? Now centers it. Lexan in. Oh, had a good chance there to bury it. Couldn't do it. Keeper keeps him out. And we will end the game here on a corner kick. We'll just loft this one in. Axoy will do his best. Sends it in, and that will do it. It's a 5-1 victory here over Fall. And unfortunately, Lozano goes down. It's an ACL, and he will miss seven months. And so we will take a look here in Spain. No one to bring back this month. And so here in France, no one to bring back this month. And here in Switzerland, we have one player to take a look at. It's Urs Ertzinger, $1.6 million evaluation. Let's bring him into the Youth Academy. And so we just brought in Erz, Erz Ertzinger. He's 64 overall. We'll see where that potential lands us. And we'll take a look at some of these other players here in the academy. And we'll probably clear some of them out. We'll leave Cordero there. He might be, you know, worth keeping around. Galena, we will get rid of. That potential just falling off and he's below 60. So we will dump him. And then Zarnas. Another goalkeeper, which we really don't need at this point, will dump him as well and clear out the academy. And so that will do it for us here. We get the two victories and turn things around, and we kind of knew that was coming. He knew the goal differential really showed we shouldn't be near the bottom of the table, and we get the results we needed. We're on 14 points and pushing back towards the middle of the table, and still a lot of time to go as we only are 10 games into the season. So that will do it for us here in this one. In the next one, we do take on Tottenham, who are near, oh, wow. Dropping down there with Liverpool, 15th on the table. A poor season there so far for Tottenham. We also do have Benfica in the Champions League, but that does it for us here in this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest ones are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.